Hi there, and thanks for joining me today for this Creating Keepsakes video tutorial on how to digitally crop photos using the rule of thirds. When you want your pictures to have extra emphasis on your scrapbook pages, be sure to include white space, which is a visual resting spot for the eye in the photographs themselves. Before beginning, go to creatingkeepsakes.com and download our free digital grid to assist you in cropping your photos for the perfect look. The rule of thirds is a photography principle where you place your photo subject along lines or intersections created when you divide your picture into thirds. I've opened already in Photoshop Elements my picture and the grid that I've downloaded. You'll see the individual thirds are split by the lines on the grid. In order to create this, we're going to create a new document by going to File, New, or you can press Control N on your keyboard. We're going to create a blank file and just make it paper size and click OK. The reason why we're having an 8.5 by 11 plain document behind it is so that we can have some working space behind our photo and our grid. So we're going to go to our photo first, double click it to open it. We're going to select our move tool, click and hold on your photo and drag it down to the new document you've created. And we'll do the exact same thing. Make sure your move tool is selected with the grid. We'll click on the grid and drag it down to the new document we created. Another reason why I like to have a blank document behind is see how large my photo is here. I can actually click and drag on the corner to resize my photo to an approximate workable size. And I can also resize the grid. Once I get the different selections the way I want them, I can go ahead and start maneuvering my grid. I'm going to enlarge the grid a little bit. If it's hard for you to click on this grid, try pressing the control key and clicking on it. It will help you with those fine lines, grab them. So I'm resizing my grid a little bit. And we'll go ahead and move it up to our subject. I'd like the subject again to be on two intersecting lines. And you'll notice this wave of water. I'd also like it to be on the top horizontal line. So once I get the approximate size I'm looking for, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and hit the green check mark to leave the selection the way it is. And I'm going to select the crop tool in my toolbox. And I'm going to click and hold and drag using the photo grid as my guide. Now notice at the top I've got a little bit of space. If I push, if I press the space bar, I can actually move the selection to touch the lines if I want to. So I'm pressing the space bar and holding it down. Once I've got it touching the grid, I can go ahead and let go of the space bar, and it anchors my selection, and I'll go ahead and line it up to the grid. I'll press the check mark to accept the changes, and to kind of give you an idea what this photo is going to look like, go ahead and in the layers palette, click on the eyeball next to the grid, and it will just hide it from you. So this has got a lot of white space here with water. I can put a title on this photo once I put it on my scrapbooking page or I can put some embellishments here or I could just leave the dramatic effect of the water where you see him as he's skiing across the water. So there you have it. That's how you use a digital grid to use the rule of thirds. Thanks for joining me today for this Creating Keepsakes video tutorial on how to digitally crop photos using the rule of th thirds. Be sure to check out more instructional videos and scrapbooking tips by visiting creatingkeepsakes.com.